morning, good morning, good morning. Ugh, man, this mattress in this thing, pure heaven. I'm going to have to pull the cover off it, see what brand it is, because holy damn, I haven't had a sleep like that in a long time. It is so soft. It's also big. <laughs> and I brought extra blankets, so I took one of the blankets off my van, and having that extra weight, oh, so good. Crazy's still sleeping. Hi, buddy. Something I've learned in this whole process of being out of my van for four months is that I missed the big, beautiful van build. But first year of my van life, I lived in a bare, empty van. I've been through the basics before. So to go back for a short amount of time was no problem. But for four months, that was a little bit too long. I'll tell you, there's nothing better than a big, beautiful build to make you feel like you're at home. I pulled in here when it was dark out last night and I was expecting a lot more snow when I woke up this morning, but I think the tree canopy above kept a ton of it from being on the ground because it's, it's pretty bare in here. Mind you, it's also rained a lot over the last couple of days. Oh, it feels so good to be back in a home with a, uh, with a real van built. And Crazy looks damn good in, in the front seat there. This, this one's awesome because the window is so low and my van, the window's up here to him, right? He's got tons of view. Look at the view. You like the view, buddy? Even at the front. Koozie's got one heck of a view in there. But man, does it ever feel good to be back in a nicely, beautifully converted van. Oh yeah, so good. So today is going to be a pretty simple little video, more of an update, if anything. I have an update on Jeffy Bear and uh, we got some really big things going on at the new shop next week. So we're going to take off on a little mini trip because I got to be back on Tuesday because uh, I want to check out things that are going on at the new shop. We have lots of contractors in there and so much progress is getting started on Tuesday and I want to kind of be there for that. So we're going to take off on a little mini trip. And then after that's done on Tuesday, we're going to take off on another mini trip until um, all my parts from Ford are here and we can get working on that engine after Lauren's birthday. So probably closer to the end of the month, if not February 1st, we'll get that project back on the go. So anyway, guys, we have to pop by my shop because Amanda is there and she's sending out some orders and I want to pop in there because a bunch of our new stickers are going out today and the new Cruzy Bear patches and I kind of, I get excited about those things and I kind of want to be a part of it, you know? Hey, you okay? Hey, buddy, you okay? You wanna go to the shop? We'll get you some food? Oh yeah, that ear perked up. That worked, that worked. Oh, everybody out there walking their puppies this morning. Oh. There's some garbage out here on the road. This is from the cardboard bin, it's all wet. Keeping the parts clean. I've decided I'm gonna keep this rental van until my home is fixed, which could be probably another couple more weeks or so. This thing has a workable heater, it's comfortable, and with winter here, at least this thing's gonna keep us warm and keep me happy. And that's the most important part. Oh, sounds like a party in here. Hello! Who's here, buddy? Who's here, buddy? Who's here, buddy? Who's here? Oh, those are, holy, look at all these babies. Well, oh, these worked out. Yeah, it works great. So yeah, we're trying to figure out a way how to send patches out because patches and stuff, if you order more than, more than one, they don't fit in the envelope. I'll grab Crazy a blanket for the floor and a teddy bear. All right, Crazy, you got a little teddy bear and a little blanket. Did daddy make a good choice? Did I make a good choice? Hey, how come the butt side of this guy's up? 
Cruz, he was chew chewing on him yesterday. It's a foggy one out here today. Whoa, just give me Cruzy. Cruzy's sniffing it. Might be some goodies. We made a pit stop at the mailbox and we got ourselves a package from Patty from Santa Ana, California. I love getting goodies. Oh, Cruzy. I knew he was smelling the box for a reason. Aww, minty paws. This is perfect, because in this camper van, we didn't uh, bring any snacks for Cruzy. Oh, he's got lots of them. Cruzy, this whole thing's salmon paws. Oh, he's gonna like those ones. It's a doggy toy. <laughs> Bro, I have a funny feeling this whole package is for you. That's cool. That dog of mine is one heck of a spoiled puppy. Whoa. Was that for me, baby? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Zebra popcorn. Um, this is awesome. Oh Petrich Farm ginger cookies. I am in for that. I love ginger. And Patty got us a Christmas card. Man, it's like it's like Christmas in January. It's a little care kit for Cruzy. Look at buddy. She's got all sorts of stuff to take care of you. Patty, he's gonna hate this stuff, but I'm gonna love it. Wrinkle wipes, skin smoother wipes, skin rash soother, a snout soother. Oh, we'll use this right now. Patty, this is an incredible care package. Thank you. Hey, she must have known, buddy, that we didn't pack anything for all your stuff. It says treats, chapped, and cracked noses. Oh, you're gonna come up here? See, look at your nose, see how dry it is? We about to fix that. He's like, oh, damn it. I thought that was a good care package full of treats. But you could, we'll get your nose first. Hey, Brucey, hold on. <laughs> he all of a sudden didn't like that package. Brucey don't think so right now. Aw, oh, Patty, thank you for the letter and the late Christmas love. Me and Cruzy really appreciate it. And Patty had mentioned in here about um, wishing I would post an Amazon wish list. So people could send me useful things. Honestly, Patty, everything you sent me was way beyond what we need. Cruzy got some care items and some treats. Sid? Adam. This little mini road trip's off to a good start, isn't it, buddy? We got presents, we got snacks. Seems like no matter where we go today, this island is just socked in with fog. Check out that old truck. Wicked. It's an old international. That thing is awesome. Ah, bet you someone that's at the tattoo studio there owns that truck. That thing is wicked. Port Alberni, Canada's fishing town. Hey, before we go any farther, I'm gonna stop and check the weather and see if this uh, if this fog's gonna lift. You guys hear that dinging? Our Sir Cruzy Bear is triggering off the seatbelt chime on the other side, Mr. Big Boy. Calling for rain this week. Daytime temperatures will hover around five degrees with overnight lows around one. We picked a beautiful time to go camping. Look at this, this is hour by hour. Fog, 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 fog. Rain, 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 rain. Going into Monday, rain, 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 all day. Going into Tuesday by hour, rain, 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 rain. Oh my goodness. Port Alberni has approximately 19,000 residents. And this is your last major town before you get out into some more remote communities here on the island. So when you're traveling out here, a main destination you must set on your Vancouver Island trip is Tofino, BC. Great big sandy beaches, big waves, some surfing and stuff out there, and just ocean for as far as you can see, and some pretty rad little communities out there. 
but when you're coming through Port Alberni to get out there, this is your last major shopping area. So if you want to grab things that are a little bit more affordable, Port Alberni is going to have all your major grocery box stores to top up all the supplies you need to keep on traveling. Also, when you're here, grab fuel because from Port Alberni, there's an quite an incredible backcountry road that leaves here and goes all the way up through the mountains, through some really cute communities like Bamfield, and then it can pop out way out in Lake Cowichan. So bring lots of extra fuel with you. It's quite an incredible drive out there and definitely a place to enjoy some nice, easy backcountry fun. But choosing to rent this Karma camper van was was just a damn good decision. Look at that thing. That thing's gonna be my home until my van gets fixed. So cool. I had ventured into today with no plan whatsoever. And I'm feeling like it's a Netflix day. It's cold outside. You can't see any of the mountains out here because the fog is lying a little bit too low. So making a beautiful mountain drive like this when you can't see the mountains, isn't always a great way to spend your day. Sometimes it's best to just hold back a little bit and then hope for no no fog tomorrow. Oh, I thought this campground was year round. That sign back there just said, Sprout Lake Upper Campground closed. I don't know if there's a lower campground or a main campground. Yeah, when I looked online, it said that these are uh, year round. The road looks plowed. We might be in luck. Well, we got a fair chunk of snow through here. Wow, that's nice in the fog. There's nobody in there camping. <laughs> Go figure. Well, they plowed the road in, so maybe. I wonder if we can get into those camp spots without getting the van stuck. There's not a single speck of tire tracks going into any of these camp spots. All right, let's read the sign. This will tell all. Winter camping, step one. Winter is first come first of choose a spot. Two, claim a spot. You must show occupancy, leave your vehicle, put up your tent. Registration. And there's no pencil. How are we supposed to write? I don't even think the camper van has a pen. I know I sure don't have a pen. Winter camping is 13 bucks. Is there a pencil in there? No. Normally I don't leave anywhere without a notepad because I'm a big guy for scribbling down, down notes. Usually I got five, six, seven, eight, nine notepads on the go at the same time. And I don't bring anything with me. I don't think there's a pen in here. Maybe the park guy will come around. Cruzy, we might have to write our name in blood. Baby. Well, we got in there. What's up, brother? Hey, man, were you sleeping? No, why? <laughs> no, I just wanted. Uh, what operates or not operating? What uh, software do you use for to do your uh, videos? Adobe Premiere. Always so awesome to hear from Jeffy Bear. So a little update on him. Um, he's taking his van into Overland Interiors to get a build put in there for him. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, we have a dear friend of ours, Jeffy, that had both of his legs taken away from him because of diabetes, which forced him to not live in his van anymore and 
go back to good old sticks and bricks with his family in Ontario until he recovered. Then he got the van life itch in a very big way and found himself a van with a wheelchair lift, reached out to me and said, Chrome, I found the perfect van. Right away, I put this onto YouTube and you all raised $30,000. The van was only 10, which gave him an extra $20,000 for making sure the tires and stuff were good and taking it to Overland Interiors to get a build done in it, to buy batteries and everything else that he needs to get him back on the road. So right now, Andy is about to put a build in his vehicle within the next month. Then Jeffy is coming out here to the West Coast in his very first trip in his van, all thanks to each and every one of you. So thank you guys from the bottom of every everything I've got in my heart. That was one of the most beautiful things that we as a community here on Van City Van Life have ever done. And we've done some awesome things. We've helped a lot of great people along the way, but that one was the biggest. So guys, thank you. And Jeffy, we are stoked to have you out here on the West Coast. Stoked. Cruzy, be stoked. Cruzy, you're supposed to be stoked. Jeffy might be coming out, bro. You know Jeffy Bear. And I got into these damn things. Holy freaking cow. <laughs> They're so delicious. Look at it. They're uh, just caramel popcorn with a uh, chocolate little swirly thing. So good. On that note, um, I went in for some blood work and all this kind of stuff that went on because of my little, my little heart scare. I got a phone call yesterday from, from the doctor's office and they said, hey, we got all your blood work back. Just so you know, you do not have diabetes. You do not have high cholesterol. Everything on the blood work looked amazing. And uh, all my uric acid levels that was causing my gout are <clears throat> gone. They're plummeted right down. Everything is looking so good. The only thing I'm waiting for now is the results from my echocardiogram that we just had the other day. But right now, everything looks good. I am super happy about that. Now, if I stay away from stuff like this, Maybe, uh, maybe those things will just stay that way. Nah. Just a couple more. Let's see what we got in here, buddy. We got some goat's milk too, bud. I was hoping the ranger guy would come by so we could fill out these forms, but he didn't. So we're just gonna go <laughs> leave a blank one in the box. We're the only camper here, so I don't think it really makes a difference. Where's my post? That one's a blank. I'm gonna stick this blank one. Oh, we better lick that. <laughs> That's my version of licking it. I'm gonna give him a 20 because we don't have any change. There we go. Better go and shut that door. Keep some of that heat in. That cruisy passed out. Passenger side, driver's side, side window. His vans come with a really simple window cover design. It's just a thin little fabric with some magnets and stuff along here. And they mark it. Tells you right there. Sliding door. And I like them because they fold down super small. There we go, bud. There we go. You want your toys back? Here's the moose. And here's the, the dragon. Okay. So Cruzy is passed out already. And I got my cell phone up there on the dashboard trying to get as much cell phone service as I can. And I'm back here watching some car stuff on YouTube. Check that thing out. That's a 6x6 Hummer with a Hellcat engine. <laughs> Freaking wicked. But check this out. These lights in here. Watch, watch it when you shut them off. You shut them off. It slowly dims down. So cool, right? When you turn it on, same thing. Boo. 
It's like luxury. So cool. It's set at 22. Let's get in here and change the temperature. Oh, it's set at 24. Let's set this at 18. Let it run forever. Not forever. Let's go. There you go. Done deal. Blowing on my feet, keeping my feetsies warm. So the question has come up. How much is it costing me to be inside of this van every single day? I've seen lots of people saying, oh, that's $300 a night. That's $250 a night. Um, actually, winter rate in the Karma Camper vans is $79 per night. I can't even get a bed bug infested hotel for $79 a night out here, let alone a beautifully converted van with everything that we need to adventure. And it comes with like 200 kilometers a day. So you attach it up, you do you do seven, seven days, 200 kilometers times seven, that's a heck of a lot of traveling. Like today, I think we may have only put like maybe 100 kilometers on this thing today. That was it. We didn't really drive very far. We bombed around a little bit, but yeah, not bad. 200 kilometers a day is tons. But yeah, 79 bucks, winter rate. How the heck can you go wrong with that? This is something I should have did at the very beginning. But when my van broke, I honestly didn't think I was going to be out of a home for this long. I figured, okay, the van breaks, no big deal. I'll make a home in the back of the ambulance for now and you know we'll be back in my van in a in a couple of weeks and then after that came up a couple of weeks turned into two more weeks i got frustrated got out of the ambulance went into the shop van thinking okay it's still only going to be a couple more weeks and then that turned into a couple more weeks and then then the frustration started to kick in and then i got frustrated and at the sh at the shop van and then i built a better home in the shop van i made the bed shorter and put up a blanket and some lights but I didn't think this thing was going to be four months long. And at the beginning, I, if I knew this was going to be long and dragged out, I might have went this route from the very beginning because it would have cut out all of my stress and my want and need to go out and adventure in something that feels like home. Doing things in those other ambulances, it didn't quite feel at home. It was good and temporary, but come on. Come on, imagine coming home to this every day and driving practically a brand new vehicle. This thing only has 33,000 kilometers on it. That's it. It's so beautiful. But yeah, definitely, guys, I should have done this right away out the gate before. Yeah, <laughs> big time. Anyway, guys, that's all I really got for you guys today. My intention to turn the camera on was to just make a quick update video. I didn't think that we were gonna drive all the way out here to Port Alberni. Well, but here <laughs> we are. A part of the updates I wanted to tell you guys, this is something I'm more excited for me and how hyped you guys are gonna be. But on Tuesday at my new shop, the final inspection for the electrical is happening. The shop will now have 200 amps of power into my shop, so tons of juice. All that stuff will be finished off on Tuesday, and they get to flick that final switch, and the grid turns on inside my shop, feeding everything with power. Also, on Tuesday, the insulation guys will be in there starting to insulate the entire shop. Then early in the week, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll be getting all of the lines and stuff we need for running the heat pump heat systems, both upstairs and downstairs. I should have that in hand, which means the heat pump install guy can start wiring that stuff into the wall. So when the heat pumps come in at the end of this week, at the end of this coming week or the week after, um, it'll all be pre-wired in. So all the heat pump guy has to do is install the units and boom, we got heat in the shop, baby. <laughs> Insulated. So the insulation process, I guess, is fast. It should be done in a couple of days, in, out, done, maybe two or three days or something like that. Then it's on to drywall. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a good week, you guys. Anyway, y'all, thanks for cruising along with me. I'm really not too sure what we're going to go do tomorrow. Maybe we'll take a cruise out a little bit farther down the highway down here. Um, if it rains hard tonight, which means the snow will be a little bit less, which would be beautiful, but because it's calling for rain, you guys seen for like weeks, <laughs> which means bye-bye snow. And hopefully this was the only speck of winter that we see this year. That'll be beautiful because if this snow can go away, 
when my actual van is back on the road, we all can go do what I've been missing the most, and that's go play in the darn dirt. This thing isn't, isn't built for the dirt. This is definitely one of those big, beautiful pavement travelers. Um, anyway, y'all, thanks for watching, and me and Cruzy will see you guys tomorrow, I think.